Yo guys, Superior David here, and today we'll be talking about what many think is the best deck on ladder at the moment, and that is Small Spell Mage. Uh, the reason why this deck is so powerful is that it uses Sorcerer's Apprentice to discount cheap spells that you could then use to leverage to have these huge tempo swing turns while at the same time generating a bunch of random cards or even minions sometimes to uh, just keep up the pressure. And often your opponent just can't play around what you're doing because they don't know what cards you have or you're not paying mana for them and you sort of abuse that to like cobble a win condition together on the fly to close out games. Uh, so yeah, the deck is powerful. And if you couldn't tell, it's also really flexible. Uh, no two games really play out the same, which is a lot of fun, uh, but it can also be a bit overwhelming. Like, I've played, you know, I'm pretty skilled at the game. I've played a lot of games with this deck, and I still, like, don't know if I'm making the perfect plays. Uh, but if you're new to this deck and are looking to improve, I think the most skill testing part is learning when to uh, pop off with your cheap spells. Uh, generally speaking, You'd like to have a Sorcerer's Apprentice when you do this, uh, but more importantly, you want to make sure you have some sort of payoff card when you're like going off of these cheap spells. Uh, the big payoff cards that I look for are uh, Mana Cyclone to play at the end of the turn to uh, just refill my hand after like dumping, dumping them, playing all those cheap spells. Uh, then next I look for Shimvala, which uh, you play at the beginning of the turn, and so you could like cast as many spells as possible to get like a bunch of five fives on the board. Uh, if you can get one down early, uh, it, it, it's, it can be very overwhelming, like surprisingly. Like five fives don't seem like that threatening, but then you get like three of them on the board in your turn, and you're just like, wow, okay, five fives, actually pretty good. Uh, and then finally, uh, speaking of just dumping a bunch of stats on the board, uh, you also want to look for Mana Giant because uh, you could often get it down to like zero mana very early in the game. And then you just dump an 8-8 on the board and, you know, big pile of stats, powerful. Uh, but even better, if you have the Conjurer's Calling, you play the Mana Giant, you play the Conjurer's Calling, and that's good time for you. Your opponent will not like that so much. Uh, so yeah, of course you want the Sorcerer's Apprentice for these turns because she makes them like all like even more super broken, but sometimes your opponent will rush you down and you're forced to pop up before you like draw that apprentice. And while not ideal, that's okay. Uh, the more you play the deck and watch games, the more you'll, you'll get an idea for the flow of the gameplay and learn when to commit resources and uh, when not to. Now I'm gonna level with you guys here. The mulligan is not straightforward. Uh, it can be matchup dependent. There are conditional keeps and changes whether you're going first versus going second. There's just a lot to take in with this mulligan. So I'm going to be speaking pretty generally about things here. Uh, starting with uh, the cards I think should always be keeping. Uh, the, the main ones are Sorcerer's Apprentice. So you could uh, pop off earlier in the game. And then Wandmaker and Violet Spellwing. Because uh, they're both minions that can come down in the early game and they can test the board. Uh, and more importantly, they replace themselves with a one mana spell. Which you can then like use to fuel your later turns. Uh, I also like to keep Lab Partner uh, or Astromancer Solarian though for more like early game board presence. And I think these are a bit better when going first, but you know, I won't fault you for keeping them when going second. I think a lot of people do and that's fine. Uh, then specifically when going first though, if I have that Lab Partner, you know I'm keeping that cram session because uh, when going first, you get that Lab Partner down on turn one. It's very hard for a lot of decks to clear off a turn one Lab Partner when they're, when, like, they're going second. Um, so it's almost guaranteed to live and then you're able to rip the cram session on two to draw two cards and that's just pretty powerful. And let's see what else. Uh, I like to keep the primordial studies, uh, but I think the other cards I mentioned might be a bit better. I just, I personally like having the flexibility to like get a discounted spell damage minion on the board and then I could like potentially combo it with like a cheap spell to get like a little tempo swing in the early game. Or, you know, you could just get more Astromancer Solarians, and so you can shuffle more Solarian Primes into your deck, because that card is freaking nuts. Now, specifically against slower decks, I'll keep Jandis because she could be a bit overwhelming for a slow deck to handle on curve in the mid game, or even turn four if you have the coin, just really powerful play. Uh, make sure you don't low roll those five drops though, because that's a pretty feels bad moment. Uh, now, finally, last thing on the mulligan, people overkeep the Mana Cyclone. Stop keeping the Mana Cyclone. I only keep one Mana Cyclone when I have a very specific hand. It's gotta be when I'm on the coin with the Sorcerer's Apprentice with a one mana spell already in hand. Any other time, I think it's just too greedy and you die before you could pop it off or you just don't have enough resources to get a big Cyclone turn. So it's bringing your win rate down. Stop keeping the Mana Cyclone. And with that, it's time for some superior gameplay. Let me know down in the comments if you still have any questions about the deck or you can ask me over on Twitch where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Link is down in that description. And uh, also make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel uh, because not only does it make you very superior, it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Stay superior and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.
Oh yeah, I've got a Discord for the stream. It's right here. Or this could blow up in our face. I will. I will not. Uh, I would not be surprised if that happens either. Um, I'm gonna play the lab partner. I'm going with lab partner because I could go. Uh, just again, Shambhala turn three, and then I could play the lab partner coin, and then go Ray of Frost, Ray of Frost, coming off. Oh dang! Oh dang is right, PC gamer coming in with a ten months, dude. Thank you so much. Very superior. I really appreciate it, man. Um. Actually, no, I lied. I'm going to go Lab Partner Cram Session. I can't believe it was ever I, I ever thought about doing anything else. Because Lab Partner Cram Session is nuts. Stingray Shuffle. One Man Hype Machine. Yes, did you wish? Share pictures. Guys, why are you holding out on your on your very superior animals? Let the, let, let the world could use more pets. All right, now we go for the Shambhala, and he never clears it off. Never clears it off. Oh, but we have the Jandis, but I think this is still the way. This is still the way. Wait a second. Oh, crap. I can't do math. I can't do fucking math. Oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. I'm gonna squelch him. I'm gonna squelch him. Oh, no. Guys, why didn't you say something? I should not have cut that Shambhal. What have I done? I've doomed us all. I've doomed us all. I guess I freeze this. And I really hope... I. Oh, yeah. Thank thank you, uh, GG uh, Bear B. Bear B. Yeah, that was... That was upsetting. That was upsetting. I royally F that one up. I royally, I know, five head plays. I got I got way too in my own head there. I was like, yeah, oh yeah, this will be so smart, big brain play. And then I was just like, wait, what have, what have we done? We're going to do this. Um, we'll go for the missiles, I suppose. And then we'll just go double Wand Thief this turn. This is really good against Demon Hunter. You know, take the one mana evocation while you can. Yes, mistakes were made indeed. God. Dear God. Okay, we can still win this. I royally F that up, but we can still win this. He's using to consume magic on something not important, so that's good. Hmm. Excuse me. Knowing when to use the uh, Frostbolt is very important in this matchup. Okay, if you thought I was throwing it out there and you, and you couldn't clear it. Um, I knew he, if he had the bone, the marrow slicer, he could have cleared it off. But like that, I I froze his spirit jailer that turn, so he he couldn't like trade both of them in and then play like shard shatter mystic. He'd have to have the marrow slicer, and unfortunately he did have it. But I feel like we made it like a, like we made the best of a really bad play. But I hope you're doing I hope you're doing well, uh, Cave. And now we just play the Jandis. Jandis is pretty good. All right, guys, chat. Which one do we go? Yes, yeah, so we're going for the Omega Extended BM here, guys. Uh, I feel like we got we go with the Faceless Manipulator because Skyfin's a Murloc and we love Murlocs. So we're going to go with the Faceless Manipulator. I know. I know. Smash that pumpkin because I'm so upset. I know, Fatan. We are just... Uh, we are getting uh, smacked in the booty right now by our own cards. Oh, he's the Penflinger version. I think the Penflinger version might be a little bit better against our deck because... If he freezes face, he could still kill us. Whoa! That seems really early to be using a blade dance. We actually we want to get we need to get the super cheap. I'm gonna just go off with spells right now because we have uh we have this mana giant, and if we could get up to three mana, then we could play the conjures on it next turn and maybe win the game that like that. So we're just gonna let's actually do like boom. Boom. Try to get the snipe off of the uh, mana cyclone, maybe. It's a little unfortunate. I think I will still do this. Just again, want to get this down super cheap. And now we can play this, the mana giant next turn. We do not have a full hand. I was like, I was a little worried about overdrawing for a moment. So we've made some really big mistakes this game. I think we could still cheese a win. We have the mana giant. 
we have the Conjurer's Calling, and then we also have, more importantly, a Frostbolt. And we've seen, we've already seen one Blade Dance. So that's pretty good for us. It looks like Livebound Adept. All right, that's good. Whoa, Livebound Adept and the Pen Flamer. That's actually, that's pretty greedy. That's a, he's a greedy boy, but we do this. Because that was, that was randomly generated, so this will still be, uh, we'll be able to do this in Conjurer's Calling. And if he doesn't have an answer for this, we are pretty money. This is real. I mean, this one sucks. This is really good. If you get kill it off and get the lifesteal, I'm going to feel so much safer in this matchup. If he gets Skull and Gul'dan off the top, I think we lose. If he gets a silence, I will be very upset. I'll be very upset if he gets a silence right now. I know, Stingray. Pog it up, man. Pog it up. Because that we got the goods right now. I mean, yeah, he could, like, ping. I don't know if he should have done that. I mean, like... I guess he, I guess he gets that extra damage in, but like, did that really advance his board that much? I don't think so. Um, I think first we just freeze his face just to limit his options. We're getting a little low on life. So I think we'll do like something like, boom. Freeze his face. This is a taunt. I don't know if I, I probably do want to keep this up. Let's see, we're gonna we're gonna play for board right now. I'm actually gonna rip this these two. I think we do actually wanna keep the taunt. But if we kill this, we get lifesteal. I don't know, no, no. We're gonna go for this. Um oops. I wish Willow was a duh card. It would be so much better. Oh, Demon Hunter. I was like, what's a duh card? I don't know, I may have messed that up. I may have wanted to kill this to get the lifesteal this turn. Next turn. But now, like, with with this still alive, we ha he has to have uh Kane in order to uh kill us. Oh shit, that's not good. That is not good. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna toss up the secret, I suppose. Um make him make just really mess up his turn. I mean it's at the we're, we're low enough on life where he might just like not even play around a secret. So maybe the play is just to go evocation, hope to get like freeze on his face. I think that might actually be the play. Um it's okay, DigiWiz. We, we, it, I, I, we still accept you, even though you're a fast typer. Yeah, I think I'll just dump stuff out. I will crush your delusions of grandeur. Unfortunately, we just like everything just generates another card. I mean, I guess I just play the devolving missiles just to like make hand space, and now we rip the evocation. Long years I have studied. Not even that great. Um, I think we just blast this fool in the face. <laughs> and then we really hope he doesn't kill us. Oh boy. Temple Mage will probably still be fine with, even with the patch. We'll take some time to make it work again. No, I mean, I think it's good. People are going to be jamming the same list right after the nurse because it's still good. Um, I think we might just lose. I'm a little worried. You can also pen flinger this. I just realized yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. Yeah, maybe I. Th oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, we we lose this game. I think I must have used my freeze on his face too early, which is something that you really have to like read in the matchup. Uh, had I like had I still had the freeze available this turn, like I would have won the game most likely because he just wouldn't be able to kill me. I mean, maybe he doesn't have it. 13 damage. We've seen a Glybon add up. We haven't seen, like, any of his weapons. Marrow Slicer. This card This card isn't discounted. Wait, no, this is Twin Slice. This card, this card isn't discounted because he drew some Soul Fragments. So maybe he doesn't have it. He might just, like, heal up here. Which still would not be great. Oh, no. He's, he's, probably, he's probably got the Blade Dance. Hmm. Whoa! Okay, so we really wanted to deny us heals there. That might be okay. That might be okay. I think we sort of we just pop off now with the cyclone. Try to get something to Oh, counter spell could be good. I'm gonna do like a boom. Boom. Frozen wastes. Rise up! Jandis could be good as a last resort. I mean this could help us get lethal. I think we go for the Jandus though. Just maybe we get like a taunt in our time of need. Um, I'm gonna play... I guess I play this. I don't think I... 
let's see now. We're gonna go counter spell, mana cyclone. Cause we get a playable like card off of the, the mana cyclone. Not ideal, but this is fine. We pop that. So with the counter spell, we could mess him up. Like that gets rid of his uh, second slice, and I think it would get rid. Like if he plays, it won't bounce the pen flinger back to his hand. Boom! We got him. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Oh no! 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 Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh baby, that could be bad. That can be bad. Like, if he gets, like, double... I think double jump would probably be the best one right now because he wouldn't be able to do anything this turn with it. Mana burn. Not great. Not great. That counterspell saved us there. Oh, my God. He's not going face. You know you're in a good spot against the Demon Hunter when they're not going face. I guess he is going face. I lied. I spoke too soon. I mean, he didn't go face with that ping, though, so that was actually really, really impactful. Um, what do we want here? What do we want, guys? We probably just play the Jandus. Hope, hopefully, we get, like, a taunt. Mana Giant's really good. Um, can we draw into anything for lethal? Not really. So I think we just go for uh, the Jandus, see what we get. Because this, this could set up lethal next turn. Oh! Guys, what a filthy j- I was like, why are we drawing a card right now? Wow, that was good. And I sort of just want- I sort of just want to play the Flame Ward just to mess up- mess him up. Because he's like, oh crap, a secret. So he- I mean, I think right now he just sort of like has to play the cards he's got. Um, but the, yeah, this taunt was filthy. This taunt was filthy. No, he's gonna win over the top. He's gonna win over the top. Oh no. I mean, ho hold your decks out, guys. Hold your decks out. Interesting. He's gonna go for the trade. I mean, he's gotta stop an 8 8. I think we got. If he doesn't kill us now, we win. Oh no. Oh no. Let's see. He was just. Barely off, actually. Wait a second. Hold up. He he might still have. If he has another spell, he's got it. Oh my God! There we go. Um, against Hunt. Oh, whoa, whoa! Top deck lab partner. Sorry, top deck cram session. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, Ronak. I've I've played a lot myself too. I play I I made a I made a video on it. It's my most popular YouTube video. People love Mizaki OTK Mage. Um Prepare for some Dragon Hunter. Oh yeah, yeah, we played this dude already. We know what he's running. Ooh. That was nice. I'm actually hoping that he get he's he's Highlander though. If I recall correctly. Now I'm like crap, or was that the other hunter? By the Wolperting. Oof, I wish I had one more mana so I could pop the Cyclone now, but... I think I just want to Cram Session some more. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'm gonna freeze one Go Face with the other. Go Face with this. He's gonna make this trade, and then we... I mean, we're popping off with the Cyclone. We got a Scam. We gotta scam it up, boys. But I feel like this version of Spell Mage is better than the Dragon Package variant. I honestly, I feel like you could just run whatever. I think just the core combination of just Sorcerer's Apprentice, plus like all these busted combos like Cyclone, Mana Giant Conjurers, uh, and then Shambhala are just good. Neon Daddy, how you doing? I was say, we're going for this. Go pop him there. Get rid of that. See, I could go. I could go for the evocation. Ah, maybe I do go for the evocation. I'm gonna go for the evocation. I think, but I'm, I'm not gonna play it this turn. We go like, boom, boom, 
I'm doing well tonight, man. Thanks for asking. Oh. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. That's that's just silly. But yeah, I think I think the nerf to evocation will be impactful, but I don't think it's gonna kill this deck. Like, see, like it this for one mana will still be pretty good, even like with like Sources Apprentice down, he's ki Whoa! Kill command on the apprentice. You love to see it. You literally love to see it. Um, let's do a little boom. Get some stuff down. Oh, uh, Ronak, I'll get that. I'll get your hair flip up in just a second, man. I'm gonna just start playing stuff out. Oh, it says um, I have so many. I like. I have double evocation. I'm feeling pretty good. About, oh, hey there. Yes, we're gonna play you instead of the the, the uh, so you. Yes, hair flip it up. You got it. Uh, but yeah, Neon Daddy, I'm doing well. I, the Superior Night we voted today, and uh, it was very nice. We went for like a lovely walk. We walked to. Oh, that's a little scary. Where do you guys see the nurse before they put them into the game? Um, over on Twitter. Well, now we don't have to worry about, like, dying to unleash the hounds later, so I'm, like, pretty okay with that. Especially because, like, oh. Ooh. Is he gonna full clear here? Yeah, he's gonna get a full clear. This sort of sucks. Wait, no full clear. No full clear. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Or no full clear for him, full clear for us. Look at that, guys. Look at that. See, so yeah, yeah, uh, Trickle Babe. Uh, yeah, you can find the you can find the nurse on Reddit, on Twitter, on the Blizzard forums. They they post about that stuff before the patch. All right, so he is Highlander. So interesting. I think I'm gonna go off with the evocation. Oh nope. I was like, yeah, I'll go off with the evocation. No, we got Jandis. We're gonna apply pressure instead. I wish I could Arcan Intellect. Oh, Turkle, I got you, dude. I got you, Turk. Um, ooh. I think I'll just do the Krasnov, because we'll rush in here. Because I'm like, okay, if I make this die in one hit. Actually, wait a second. Yeah, I'll make this one die in one hit. I feel like that's okay. Oh, whoops. I was like, why isn't it doing its thing? Like, of course, like, yeah, he knows now, but... This is, like, we saw the Unleash the Hounds. And it's like, okay, he trades in here, but you have a 4-2 up. Exactly, that's what I was thinking, too. He, he has to go face. He has to go face, right? Oh, and now we go second Apprentice. And again, we don't have to worry about we don't have to worry about like go, like playing into unleash the hounds. So that's pretty good. Years I have that was really nice. Oh, Conjurer's calling. Conjurer's calling. Hell's yeah. So how do we do this? There's probably a way to get this down. So that the damage goes over. I mean, we could do, like, pop, trade here, combustion this, and then it'll do four damage. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Boom. I think this works. Let me do that. The, uh, Conjure you. Conjure's calling is really good. I'm sorry, I know I'm ignoring chat right now, guys. Oh my lord, that is amazing. Um, oh my god. Warriors of the frozen wastes, rise up! Um, we'll just play that. Wow. Alright, so it seems like I'm doing well. You don't know how I deal with base runner with this deck. Probably don't see many at this rank. Um, I deal, I, I see, I saw like one earlier. I mean, we're playing this guy for the second time. He's Highlander. Highlander uh, base hunter, which is still like a pretty aggressive deck. He's just going face with something. Weapon. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we're gonna have to high roll with the mana giant. Or, I mean, we could just rip the evocation, right? No, okay. 
The opponent played it probably correctly safe there. Yeah, we'll do this. Oh boy. Guys, we just go Solarian Prime. No, we don't need the Solarian Prime. I think I'd rather go like... Boom. Boom. Because this game's gonna, like, we're racing him at this point. Oh, that's not, that was not good. Um, but we'll do this. We'll go with the Vaporize. Oh, we can't even play the Vaporize this turn. Whoopsies, I messed that up. You're really liking Lead Room Paladin right now? Penflinger's the best meme. Oh, dude, yeah, I was playing some Lead Room Paladin last stream. It's fun. I feel like that deck takes a lot of my focus, and it's hard for me to focus on everything at the same time. I also have ADHD. Dude, you gotta go face, man. You Whoa! That was really good. So the Twitch soundtracks are out, but not fully. You have to register, and they will email me. I don't really, I don't really care. There's no reason to to use the Twitch soundtracks. All right, so we're gonna win now because we have this, we, these. I mean, we definitely just went from here with evocation. Let's go. Long years I have studied. Um, just buff this dude up a bunch. I'm gonna win. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, there we go.